Greetings, uh, my fellow Toastmasters and guests. Uh, I will be giving my third speech, Get to the Point, and that's what I plan to do. Today I'm going to take issue with impromptu speaking. And uh, there is nothing personal, but this is just my personal feelings about impromptu speaking. I am terrified of impromptu spe speaking. I am terrified of impromptu speeches, better known as table topics, as our responses to table topics. When the question, quotes, or comments begin, I become absolutely absorbed with the frightening feeling that I will be called upon. <laughs> Am I the only one? Is this just a problem that I have? I am really interested in hearing your responses at the end of this session, and I'm also interested in hearing some of the responses of some of our fellow Toastmasters, like Chartreuse Robinson, who always seem to do an exceptionally good job no matter what kind of speech she gives. Because I had a speech today, I didn't have to worry about giving an impromptu speech. That means I had time to organize my ideas. The purpose of my speech today is to convince you that all good speeches, including impromptu speeches, require some time to organize. During this speech, I want you to think about the way impromptu speaking is done at Toastmasters and decide if some prep time would lead to more effective impromptu speeches. Today, I'd like to make three main points. Point number one, impromptu speeches are the most difficult speeches to give. It is said that impromptu speeches unnerve even the best public speakers. One of the most daunting experiences a person can face is the, is the request to deliver a speech without notice. When caught off guard, many people suffer extreme anxiety about speaking off the cuff. Mark Twain once stated that it took him three weeks to prepare for an impromptu speech. So you must be asking, how does he prepare, how does he prepare for an impromptu speech? Good speakers like Mark Twain know that when presenting as part of a program or seminar, there is always a chance that one of the speakers may not show, usually because of travel problems. Mark Twain, like other good speakers, will look over the other topics that are being covered and prepare to offer some thoughts or suggestions as a substitute especially if they have some background or expertise in the area. So, even Mark Twain prepares. <laughs> Point number two, whenever you stand in front of an audience, you want to give a good speech. A badly delivered speech is a badly delivered speech, even though you didn't have time to prepare. And that does nothing for a speaker's confidence. Often in Toastmasters, we are asked very thoughtful questions that we have never really considered before. Impromptu speeches that are practiced, impromptu speeches that are practiced in this format are usually used in contest-like situations. In real, in, in real life, rarely are you asked to stand and deliver a speech with no warning. Rarely are you asked to deliver a speech on a particular topic that you are totally unprepared for. In real life, there is a fair measure of warning before being asked to speak on a particular topic. Point number three, some time is needed to organize your thoughts. Every source I've read about impromptu speaking emphasized taking some time to organize. One source suggested that you walk to a secluded place where you can think about your opening remarks, main <laughs> points, and conclusion. Another source suggested that you grab a pen and a piece of paper and jot down some interesting and significant points. Yet, another source suggested creating an outline of your major points. Asking someone to deliver a speech, asking someone to deliver a speech without prior notice could easily lead to disastrous consequences. So, I would like to offer a suggestion. What if the table topics master do, distributed the list of questions? That way, members could jot down their main points, which would prepare them for a more real-life situation. In conclusion, I know that some prep time 
would lead to more effective impromptu speaking. It will also lead to impromptu, impromptu speaking that is less intimidated and better organized. I'd like to present back to the top, I mean, to the podium, the Toastmaster of the day, Chartreuse.